Hey everyone, my name is Luke Eisner. I play Stegan Tall Girl and I'm in the band Voila. And I'm beyond excited and honored to be reading one of the finalist submissions in the high school category for the Wild Beauty Foundation's second annual creative writing contest. This year's theme is the connection and wild horses. This is Zephyr Contemplates Connections, written by a 17 year old, Aditi Yadav from Uttar Pradesh, India. Hope you enjoy it. Water imitated a section of the sky. Reading down the reflections of the rising sun, the golden cirrus clouds in the sky, which turns into warmer shades. The serene image created on the river rippled as I dipped my muzzle to siphon water. I was born in Drizzle, in these wild, golden green meadows. My mother recently told me that before I was born, she, along with my brother, lived with the other wild horses somewhere near the eastern forest. She now often narrates me the stories, legends, and the bond every horse shared in a herd. But staying there soon became dangerous. Many horses died along with my brother. Ones who survived had to flee the forest and move to a safer place. She found this place when I was still in her belly. My mom has a very strong and kind spirit. She has gone through so much, and all I want is to keep her happy and proud. She once showed me the constellation Pegasus the horse with wings and the power of flight in the north skies. That night I dreamt that the Pegasus came alive. He flapped his flaring wings across the darkness, his body decked with twinkling stars, jumped over the Polaris, galloped down, paced on the river, and stood near me. He was a true epitome of liberty, wild beauty, and strength. Softly he whispered that nothing can take away a horse's spirit. Horses never give up on what they love, and their glory goes on forever. Earth, moist with the rain, was veiled by the pleasant aroma of petrichor. The clouds blocking the sight of the stars flew away after a little while. A car came wandering into our meadow. The clear sky was enough to attract the star admirers. Out came a man, who quickly mounted a telescope for her daughter, who stood looking up with amazement. They both talked about the glittering jewels that stretched across the sphere and the patterns they create. They cuddled and shared something very deep. The father recounted some of his own childhood stories. This was the first time I met the humans. They saw us and made their visits frequent to meet us. The girl once showed me her drawing of a fantasy horse with wings adored with stars. Her squiggles were so similar to what I dreamt of. The love between her and her father was so similar to the love between me and my mom. Soon I realized that we were very similar indeed. We share similar emotions and feelings. Air blows gently, and sometimes it becomes fierce. Both are its characteristics. The air is wild and free, and so I wish to be. The girl was called Sue, and she named me Zephyr. She said that she feels the same way she feels the breeze. She inspired each other to be better versions of ourselves. But on one winter day, she came, wrapped her arms around my neck, gently ran her fingers down my forehead, rubbed her face against mine, and I saw her eyes were misty. The air was cold, and so became my heart. They were moving to a different city, but she assured me that I'll live a happy and content life because we have taught each other to have faith in ourselves. And that faith can never be shaken because we have made each other strong. Although her separation was physical, our connection was abstract. It can transcend all time and space. I'm very grateful that I met her and her family, even in these fade possibilities of life. I not only connected with her and her family, but was able to connect with myself on a deeper soul level. Fire is usually symbolized with light, awareness, and warmth. I feel fire in my heart, light of cognition, awareness of my spirit, and warmth of love. Fire is also up in the sky, shining brightly and bringing about survival of creatures possible. Our meadows are now converted into a rescue and rehabilitation center open to all horses. The stables are still under build. Some wild and feral horses have been rescued. We now live with so many horses just like my mother lived with her herd. She's very gentle with other horses. She empathizes and assists them both physically and emotionally. She's very inspirational and I wish to be like her. 
A couple days ago, we got to know that Sue has also donated a big amount for this project of horse protection. She visited us and happiness elevated our souls. She rubbed her hands across my face and I showed her my affection too. She stayed with us till dusk, shared her thoughts like she used to underneath the crescent moon and above the wildflowers. She promised that she'll keep visiting us. A shooting star streaked behind her as she left with a goodbye and her elegant smile. I wish every creature on earth can feel the warmth of love and connection. All the creatures of earth are indeed connected with each other, for we all share a part of our spirits with earth. This warmth makes me feel safe and secure. I wonder the horses who lived in those eastern woods had to strive for their survival, but now such horses probably have hope that they'll be rescued by one of our centers. One of my mom's friends from her herd is also brought here, and she's beyond elated. As I'm still a yearling, I have so many things to learn and experience in my life. I'm very excited to meet other horses and to know about their stories. As I grow, I will perhaps add more to my understanding of connection. It can probably be created in many different yet beautiful ways. Maybe it includes understanding, respect, and trust. I feel connection with my mom, Sue, her family, other horses, these meadows, the pegasus, the earth and all its elements, and to my wild spirit. You, who are listening to me for so long, can form your own interpretations. It is to be felt something which is more significant than comprehending. I will one day leave this world, but the glory of horses, their wilderness, beauty, connections they have created will go on forever. Thank you for using your creativity to help protect wild horses, Aditi. I'm Luke Eisner, and I stand with wild horses.